The time has come. It's time to start harvesting all of our carrots. The carrots we have planted this season are on the end of this raised bed and on the end of this raised bed over here. This raised bed right here is 18 feet long, which presents a problem because this PVC over here is 16 feet in length, which means we've got two feet at the end of the raised bed where we can grow carrots. Carrots are an excellent crop, one of the best crops for fitting in tight spaces because you can densely plant them and still get an abundant harvest. You can tell we've already got some nice carrots growing right there. There's gonna be a nice variety here on this entire section, which again is two feet by four feet. And that's gonna offer a lot of food just in this small area of space. In that raised bed over there, this side was used for lettuce earlier on in the season. So the right side of this raised bed goes back about two feet and goes in about two feet. So I basically start right here on the edge and just work my way in. I'm gonna fill up this basket and all of these green tops will eventually go over to the chickens to become compost. Here's the first one, not too bad. We love growing and harvesting carrots. If we were ever in a survival situation where we could not rely on the food chain and we needed to harvest food that we only grew ourselves, carrots would definitely be one of the top five foods we grow. Look at how much we've already gotten in just that little space. The amount of carrots that get harvested today will last us the entire year until next year. We don't eat carrots in large quantities. We add them to soups and stews and other foods like that simply by taking them out of the freezer in small bags. For a small space, you can really grow a lot of food using carrots. And we simply freeze these, like I said, and then pull them out for soups, stews, those sorts of things all winter long. So this bushel basket is already getting really full. Pretty soon I'm gonna to have to empty it out in order to harvest the carrots from that raised bed over there. When I get to this point, I simply lay them out on the table. It helps me organize my thoughts and see what I have to work with as we get more and more carrots. I'm pretty happy with the harvest so far. These are the carrots we harvested, and we've got a few more in the other raised bed. You can harvest carrots after winter by keeping them in the ground all winter long. We just like the idea of having them ready to go in the freezer in the winter so that we can use them the way we like to eat them. So now both beds are completely cleaned up. This bed right here only had this corner two feet in, two feet back this way. That's where the carrots were over there. And this bed over here was all the way across four feet this way and approximately two feet up that way. Now it's time to cut the tops off the carrots, put all the tops in a bucket, which is going to take quite a few buckets. Set the carrots on the table to see what we're working with here. I like to do that so that we separate them by size. Of course, the chickens are really interested in anything you throw into the chicken run. And then after that, I spray down the carrots with a hose and get them inside for processing. Hardly any weeds came up at all, just like two or three in that entire little area. And so this is what we expected. We knew we were not gonna get huge long carrots because we didn't thin them out. But because we kept them the way they are, we ended up with more carrots of small to medium size. Once we separate them by small, medium, and large sizes, it's a lot easier to organize for storage, and that's kind of the idea. Sometimes we want small carrots to eat, sometimes we want the medium ones, and sometimes we prefer to have the bigger carrots. We have all three of those sizes, that's the intent, and that was the plan the entire time. So try not to be intimidated by the people you see online that harvest perfect produce all the time or that perfect produce you may see at the farmer's market. That stuff exists, but it's very difficult to manage. And if you have carrots that come out looking different sizes, different shapes, twisted, bent, it's okay. For example, this carrot right here looks more like the shape of a banana. This carrot right here is fairly small, but it's definitely edible and it's gonna taste just as good as any other carrot that I harvested. And for some reason, we had one yellow carrot in there. Last year we planted rainbow carrots, but we didn't plant rainbow carrots in that same area. Rainbow carrots come in all these different colors. You can look that up. They're kind of neat. So we ended up with one random yellow carrot. Down in the comments below, maybe you can help me out and explain why this yellow carrot was in there. My name is Corey. You're watching Together We Harvest. Click over here to watch another video about simplifying your life to increase its quality. Subscribe over here. Join us for the ride. It's going to be a good one. Take care.